Hello everybody, welcome back. Now, Susie and I are in sort of relaxed, chilled mode. We've got a house full at the moment and uh, we've decided we're not gonna do anything too strenuous. We're gonna relax and just potter around basically. So what do you do when you wanna relax? Well, you dig holes and move heavy lumps of granite around. Hmm. But there's a very good reason for it because what we want to do today is to make a little bench. So this will be bedded in here. I've put some tiles in here and I've broken them all up. I'll put a, a bed of mortar underneath just to stabilize it and firm it up a bit. And then I'll level that one off to the same. And then we've got a large piece of granite that will sit on top. And I think it will just make a nice little place just to come and sit and have a cup of coffee, something like that. And whilst I'm doing that, Susie's decided to also do some digging she's now planting another lavender hedge so basically the new hedge that she's planting will mirror this one once it's matured and you can just make it out there just along there it's going to go i think that'll look nice so where's the seat for our bench coming from well from the granite graveyard I don't know whether you've ever noticed these. Nobody's ever mentioned them before on the vlog, which I'm surprised about. But right behind our swing seat, loads of granite stones, slabs. And the one I'm after is that one. Now, as you know, Charlotte's staying here with Evangeline and we've now been joined by three of her work colleagues, uh, two gentlemen and a lady. So if I need to move a great big, heavy granite slab, two gentlemen might just come in handy. However, they're not here today. They've all gone out to a place called La Rochelle on the west coast of France, which is about two hours south west of us, more west than south. And they're, they're gonna have a nice day out there. So I'm gonna try and move, move it so it's accessible and then we'll work out how to get it over, over to those two pillars that it'll sit on and I think that'll look like a nice little bench seat and I might as well do something with this uh, granite and if we do ever have another reason to use it I could always dismantle the seat and then use them but these are nice solid pieces of granite and I think that'll look nice.
I should have filmed this part, but uh, I was just trying it out just to see if it would work, and I didn't think it would. And then once I realised the method was going to work, I didn't want to stop. Anyway, I've dragged it out using the tow rope, uh, just by gradually getting it out here inch by inch. And then we rolled it onto a brick. I lifted one end, Susie put another brick in, lifted the other end, another brick, and so on and so forth. And then we were able to slide our little trolley under it. So we have the stone, so I'm going to take it over there. Hopefully this trolley will survive the journey. I don't know what its weight limit is, um, but it hasn't buckled yet. So if I can get it over to the stones, then uh, we can maybe put it on later. The only problem is this is the wrong way around. This is the front edge that's going on there. So So I've been planting a lavender hedge here because um, I just want to define the area a bit more and make a proper driveway um, so it goes through to the walled garden. The, these euphorbias don't like being moved. They're wilting at the minute, but they'll be all right in a week or so. Between the euphorbias, there's um, quite a big gap, but they get pretty bushy. So by next year, we should have some lovely yellow blooms on them and they'll have bushed out a lot more. So we've let the mortar go off overnight, um, we're already taking advantage and it's just a nice little spot under the tree, a peaceful little spot, you can see the tower. <laughs> not with the wind well, is. <laughs> it's not so peaceful now. Um, and we've got enough granite for one or two more of these, so we might wander around the place, just have a quick look, uh, see if we can put another one somewhere. Um, and while I was, whilst I was working on this yesterday, Charlotte texts to say um, they'd like to take us out for a meal. Um, as a way of saying thank you for all the hospitality thus far. So we went to a restaurant last night and we took a bit of footage, so we'll show you that now. Well, it's Saturday evening and we've come out for a bit of food. And there's the lake and we're at Le Lac restaurant. In Argenton in La Valley. Argenton La Valleys. And that's the starter. There's mine. It will be here in a minute. Charlotte. This is Paul, Hello. Anna, and Ben. Hello. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's their way of saying it. 
Isn't that what they say on TikTok now? I'm artistic. <laughs> Susie's going for the burger. <laughs> and that food tasted as good as it looked. It was yeah, quite it a was job of leaving. Really a bit, nice. Bit chilly because we're out so on the, the jetty. It was a chilly old by, night. By the lake. By the lake. But it was a lovely, lovely restaurant, lovely food. Brilliant. Anyway, we'd like to thank Andrea. Uh, she saw this on our Amazon wish list. It's a hard drive, an external hard drive. Andrea from Southern California. Southern California. California. Yeah. yeah. And um, we get through a lot of hard drives. Uh, with all this footage, it needs a lot of storage. So uh, thank you, Andrew. It's very kind of you. And thank you to Vero for buying us another bag of wood chip. Um, we're going to need quite a lot. And it has actually helped keep the weeds down. So that's saved me some work. Yeah, thanks, Vero. It's very kind. Right, there's a thunderstorm expected. So we're going to wrap this up. So uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in a couple of days' time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Enchanté.